were enrolled as coppers between 1973 and 2019. Since then, we have had three full service years with two batches each. And based on recent numbers, that could mean that over 6 million Nigerians have served the core at this point. And I'm sure that many of the 1 million Lagosians listening to me right now are among them. In fact, I'm sure that some of the 1 million Lagosians listening to me right now were the first batch of Nigerians Nigerian NYSC coppers to be discharged in Zaria. So June 1974, General Gowon launched the NYSC scheme on the 4th of June 1973. And in June uh, 1974, we saw the first batch of youth corps members who had been discharged. I have a video here that I want to play for you. Let's uh, listen to it together. In the video, you can see a bunch of dignitaries and you can see Gowon himself, General Gowon, uh, walking around inspecting the guard. And right now we're seeing the core members marching past and doing the eyes right salute. And they're not even wearing NYC uniform per se. Some of them are wearing like jeans, some are wearing regular pants. And, and it's those like, you know, those fella trousers. We call them fella trousers when I was growing up anyway. <laughs> and then they're receiving their certificates from General uh, Yakubu Kawan. The very first passing out parade, June 1974. That video is from Reuters News Archive. Lagos, let's talk about your NYC experience. The good, the bad, the ugly. Because let's be honest, NYC is a very mixed bag. You have some wonderful things that happen to you during your service year, but you also have some terrible things. You know, there's opportunity, but there's also obstruction. There's friendship, but there's also frustration. There's there's a skill acquisition, but there's also scarcity. You know, there's experience, but there's also exploitation and i want to hear all about it from you but let's not stop there let's also try and assess the actual impact of nysc on coppers and on the country uh, i i don't want talking points and cliches i want us to assess it deeply with our eyes open and our brains switched on you know let's talk about the future as well you know let's talk about whether you think nysc should be scrapped or whether you think it should be kept and if you think it should be kept in what ways do you think it should be improved to ensure safety and comfort for core members, better impact for their careers, better impact for the nation? But all of that is for later. Right now, I just want to hear experiences, your own personal experience of the NYSC and the experience you loved. Personally, I served in Katsina State. I loved it. I wanted to marry an Alahaji and be his fourth wife. But then um, there was a, a sandstorm you know, one day in Katsina and I just said, okay, no, I can't, no, I cannot be here. Goodbye. Goodbye. Goodbye, Katsina. Goodbye. And it's such a pretty city, Katsina. Very beautiful place. Very cheap food. I remember that the food was so ridiculously cheap. Like, I've never seen food cheap anywhere else in Nigeria like it was in Katsina State. So I absolutely loved um, serving there. The houses were so gorgeous, so beautiful. I love the architecture of the houses in Katsina. But the sound storm bah, that was not for me so yeah let's talk about that shall we let's talk about nysc what was the best thing about nysc for you what was the worst thing about nysc for you is there a particularly good or bad experience or event that stands out for you from your service here let's talk about that let's talk about our nysc experience 0700 993 
993-993. I think that's the only number working right now. 0700-993-993-993. That's the only number working. So everybody call it. Men, women, everyone. 0700-993-993-993. You can also reach out to us on WhatsApp. WhatsApp is 080-959-75805. Hello. Thanks for calling us. Hello. Hello. Hi. Hello. Hello. Good morning. Good morning. Hello. Good evening. Good evening. What's your name, sir? My name is Alfred. I'm calling you from Lekki. Alfred, have you served? Yes, I've served. Where did you serve? I served in uh, Kaduna State. In Kaduna, what was the best thing about uh, serving in Kaduna? Southern Kaduna is precise. Okay. And like seriously, life was. My service was very good. What year? And, what year? Uh, 2013. 2013, okay. Mm-hmm. Yes. Uh, like, seriously, just like you mentioned, uh, things are very cheap. And especially if you are going to the market buying anything from them, and you put on the copper uniform, mm. they will give you extra jar, put in a lot of things for you. Oh. So you copper. So, you are more like a celebrity in that environment. <laughs> so, I don't feel like my service should end up on my seriously. So, <laughs> uh, the cheap market, the, the welcome atmosphere, the hospitality, that makes me feel like I'm on top of everything. <laughs> so, that's what I... That was I your experience. Did what, what did you hate about serving, about, you, about your NYSC experience? What was the worst part? So what I hate about my NYC service was the allies and the secretary, the way they behave. Okay. So, actually, don't go with their kind of uh, cultures and uh, morals of uh, behavior. Sometimes you see a lot of things happening that is not proper. They will tell you this is B. You end up seeing A. So, the promises was not what we, we thought would be. Hmm. I think that's one thing. And then the issue of uh, this banditry was coming up very seriously at that time. So there was this fear of uh, being attacked in your copper lodge. Mm-hmm. So Ooh. they always give us this uh, caution that be mindful of where you go. You know, I have the notes. Yeah. You know that so yeah. there was this fear, and you could see them. You know, it was good luck era. Yeah. So there was this, you could see a lot of uh, a set of people that only imagine you, you, the plan you see. They look terrifying. Mm. They go from the bush. You see them with the kind of um, different, uh, you know, weapons that you can't. Oh no! But thanks for calling. Uh, okay, all right. Uh, interesting part of your experience there. Ninety-nine point three. Sorry, sorry about that. Call back if you can. Hi. Good evening. Hello. Oh, good evening. Good evening. What's your name, sir? My name is Stevie. Good to have you on the show. Have you served? Yes, I served in Yeti. Oh no! Call back if you can. Ninety-nine point three. Hello. How Sandra. you? How you doing, Good sir? Good evening. How you doing? How are you? I'm very well. What's your name, sir? Great. My name is Uche, and I'm calling you from Lagos. Uche from Lagos. Have you served? Okay, great. So, um, I was surprised to hear you said you served in Katsina State. I did. Wow, what local government was that? Because I served there too. I served in the Tegrawa local government. I served in Katsina local government itself. Wow. <laughs> I, I, I remember when I served in, in Katsina, mm-hmm. I was posted to Batagrawa, but the environment wasn't very conducive for me. Aww. I had to relocate to Katsina town. Aww. So I was there. The experience was quite good. Yes. And um, I think I share... Um, same experience with the other person, the other guy that called earlier. Okay. That said, um, people will show you a lot of uh, love, mm-hmm, you know, mm-hmm. give you a lot of things and all of that. Mm-hmm. I remember one afternoon, very hot afternoon, we couldn't trek. Okay. And we were waiting for a bus to mm-hmm. go to Katsina Town. Okay. In fact, the sun was so much, you could count the number of cars that were passing. Right. One will pass, you know, after 10 minutes, you see another one. Right. So we were waiting for a bus. Right. A very old man, like 80, 85, came out and offered us uh, what's that their drink. 
Fura. Fura. Oh, I loved Fura. <laughs> loved Fura. <laughs> it was a very nice experience. What so year? What year did you serve? Day. What year did you serve? I served 2006. 2000? A long time ago. Uh, what that, year did you serve? Uh, so, so at that time, what was the worst thing about serving in 2006? Oh, I think um, the worst thing about serving there was the fact that. Uh, Oh, I remember very well now where we were always saying that uh, we are like three or four days backward <laughs> of what was happening because <laughs> because the news that is happening in town, yeah. say in Lagos, we'll get it like four or five days after. Oh, my. Yeah, because there were no phones at the time, you know? Yeah. Or, or there were phones, but they were very few and far between. <laughs> and they were definitely yeah. not like smartphones or anything. Yeah. But yeah. do you think NYC impacted your life positively? Uh, hello, what do you say, Sandra? Do you think NYC impacted your life positively? Uh, yeah, of course, it did. It did. It did. Okay. But it's just so unfortunate that uh, with recent happenings, we're beginning to have uh, doubts about that uh, the, the objective of that uh, of this program. Mm. It is security is everything. Right. So um, now that's what's casting doubt on uh, the purpose, actually. Okay. But oh. give and take, but for it's you. a very beautiful program. All right. Thank you so much for calling Uche from Lagos. My good friend, celebrity Danford Driver says he served in 2016-2017 in Aquatic mm -hmm. State and that, to be honest, it was one of the most fulfilling years of his life. He served in a village called Odot in Sitatai, local government of Aquaibom. If I can carry it over, I would still love to go back to the same village in Aquaibom. I'm still in touch with my students and the principal of the school with other teachers. They really made me a better person. Celebrity Danfo Driver, uh, I'm glad you had that experience. Valentine Chima is on the line. Valentine, how are you doing? Uh, good, up, good evening, Sandra. How are you doing? I'm very well. Where are you calling from? I'm calling from London. All right. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Okay. And I'm um, a very great experience. I loved the environment at that point. Okay. Um, it right. was uh, pretty cool there. Um, mm -hmm. I don't think in time food was really
Co-branded by the Nigerian Dental Association. Are you ready for a redefined experience with Toyota Oli? So okay, Mr. Exciting games, Medi, Fest, Island, Golf, and by games How well has the social unity and answering for us to help? We will also be at your home state to expose the other parts of the nature that can build a sense of our shared human shared nationhood. They are the interactive future of this year, your sense of shared humanity, shared nationhood. How I see the fear egg? They were a remote rich in Eoi. They were a in Ogun State. They've given a lot of story up from Ogun State. A lot of story up from Ogun State. But suddenly, every year, opposite a shape are removed in Ogun State. And those co-ops have a role and also helpful. Got skills that lack part oil from a dearest leader's rural area. Suddenly, all these co-ops from Ogun State, from Ogun State, they took a vocation to in Ebony in a while. I'm sure in a village of them, the parents have all these students who study about to hear about people's state. What in a while is But is that what's really happening, honey? How the NYSE reduced the deaths that parents feel out of children from this has not heard to experience beef about the tribes. Some people say yes, some are going to move into Madi, which has gone up, and they get to hang with us. They say it's called best find love in the orientation. Many boyfriends have a lot of the boomer, all the other than I do generally. Find love can be really promotely asked and for the episode. Some say yes, all we have get out of NYSE. Then the NYSE point instead. To the level of tribalism we still see in Nigeria today. For example, the ethnic based violence even here in Lagos during the last election. And Lagos is not the exception. Even outside of elections, we still have discrimination. We see landlords saying that they won't accept a tenant from certain tribes, for example. Many of these landlords are former core members themselves, or they were taught by core members. Or they've worked with core members or they've lived close to core members and yet after all that exposure to nigerians from all over the country facilitated by the government 
they're still bigoted and prejudiced. So is the NYSC serving its purpose? Unifying Nigerians? Is it fostering national unity? Is it reducing tribalism? Is it reducing prejudice? Is it reducing bigotry? Is it making us more united? In your opinion? And of course, you know, let me know what your service experience was like. And again, I don't want to hear repeated talking points that we always hear when NYC is being discussed. I want to hear your own personal opinion. You, I want you to open your eyes, open your eyes, look at the society around you, assess it objectively. Is Nigeria more united now than it was in 1973? Is national unity increasing each year? Are tribalism and religious bigotry reducing each year? Is the presence of coppers from other areas changing how people see other Nigerians? Everybody call us on 0700 993 993 993. We don't have the number for women up uh, today. Apologies about that to all our women listeners. But please give us a call on 0700 993 993. 993 993 and, and you can send a message on whatsapp whatsapp is 080 959 99.3 hello hello thanks for calling what's your name sir my name is clem clem welcome talk to me okay so very wonderful uh topic uh, regarding the uh, nyc mm-hmm. uh i served in kaduna okay. uh, during my nyc day okay it was a wonderful, wonderful experience that changed my life, my world view, and also, you know, about um, um, what I've heard about different tribes in Nigeria. Hmm. Yes. So I worked very hard. Okay. Uh, for those who serve the Kaduna, uh, Kaduna is divided into two. We have the Kaduna North, which is uh, densely populated by the Muslim, mm-hmm. and the Kaduna South, which is densely populated by the Christian. Okay. And for all the core members, nobody distinguished between Muslim and Christian. Okay. We were just all together. Um, our campground was called uh, Black Gold. Okay. Very wonderful experience. And as you know, Kaduna is, um, is the base of military. Mm-hmm. So all the military formations, we had the best, exactly, we had mm-hmm. the best, you know, military officers came to camp to train us. Mm-hmm. We were so agile, mm-hmm. we were excited. Mm-hmm. And um, when eventually we were posted, I think about 90% of us were posted to different schools. Mm-hmm. Uh, I was posted to, to Kaduna North at um, Magazine Gary, just beside the... Um, the local government Mm -hmm. and um, when i got there uh honestly it was a public school male public school Mm -hmm. and i've never seen um you know like uh a public school that has almost nothing (laughs) i I, I have to be i have to be honest with you right you know but you know what what i just made up my mind i said i'm going to do something here before i leave okay and um, I started a library project, okay. which um, eventually, you know, I completed. I won a state award. Okay. I was on radio. I was on TV. Mm-hmm. I was everywhere. Mm-hmm. I was in governor's office. I was. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> oh yeah, Canada is my second state, Aww. and uh, I was known. I had a lot of newspaper publications. My names were being mentioned everywhere. Aww. I had donations of books from uh, USAID that worth um, about 2.5 million era National Library. All the different, um, you know, uh, um, organizations that print books, and it was wonderful. It was wonderful uh, when people will go and you know start uh, partying. I'll just sit on my computer and, you know, think of what I can do, yeah. you know, to better the lives of, of the people. Oh, people. But honestly, mm-hmm. it changed my life. I went to Kaduna Business School as well. Okay. I enrolled in Kaduna Business School okay. and I did, um, um, you know, a course mm-hmm. on entrepreneurship mm-hmm. and new venture creation. Mm-hmm. And, uh, yeah, so it was all work. Yeah, I had fun too, but <laughs> honestly, um, it's, 
uh, an experience that changed my life. Mm -hmm. I was given, uh, you know, a state award. Oh. I was given automatic employment, oh. which, which of course I never took. <laughs> <laughs> I came back to Lagos. <laughs> oh my God! <laughs> and I remember we were like three thousand, uh, three thousand and fifteen or mm -hmm. something, mm -hmm. and only three of us won a state award. Mm -hmm. And when I told the people that I wasn't going to take the employment, they were like, oh, please, give me, transfer it to me, transfer it. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, I couldn't transfer it. Yeah, I just came back to Lagos, and uh, the whole thing became a history. Yeah. And each time I remember, I was just proud of wonderful things I did. And you were able to achieve. And, uh, I and, I, and I'm more. proud of you as well. I'm proud <laughs> that you were one of those FICO core members, you know? Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much for calling to share your story. I don't know if Olamide Olamide Nikeja is still there. Olamide, are you still on the line? Olamide? All right, we don't have Olamide on the line anymore. Olamide, if you can, give us a call back, okay? We've got um, this message here. It's a voice note, actually, from Chooks in Lecky. Unfortunately, the voice note isn't loading, but if it does load, I will do my best to play it. Peter Ayarinde says... Um, Sandra, I served in 2009 in a farmstead in Bauchi, Tafawa Balewa local government. The village is called Jambel Village between Bununu and Katagun towns. We were the first set of youth core members in Jambil. Jambil Village has twice uh, the number of cows than humans. I left Tafawa Balewa local government in June 2010 and it was the first town with publicized Boko Haram attack in the following August. Tafawa Balewa local government is predominantly Christian. Uh, always under attack by religious uh, factions. I wasn't surprised it was the first spot of attack. During my stay in Jambil, 35 minutes drive away from Tafawa Balawa town, I had close shave with scorpions nine times, including a big black one beside my pillow on the floor I slept. Oh my God! There was only one bank in the local government with 40 minute uh, drive. I had no electricity except a malam that brings Tiger Generator on Tuesday and Saturday. There was no market in Jambil. There's a very good road that had one car per day pass by. Only one network waved by that time. My fellow core members planned to redeploy in a hurry, but I didn't. But I didn't, despite my military connections. I went to town. I uh, bought Monopoly and other board games. I also brought along my guitar. I got a transistor radio that was permanently on BBC Radio Service. I also bought a 50-liter clay pot to store water and cool it till it became local ice water. I was determined to serve my country in the harshest condition. I taught six subjects as there were 15 teachers on roster and only three or four ever showed up. I was almost given two wives and nearly forcefully converted forcefully converted to Islam. It was because of their love for me. It was too much. We walked for 40 minutes to the nearest village to watch Chelsea Barcelona Champions League match. I remember that match. I still have friends up there till today. Dalhatu, Alhadu, etc. I had a life of reflection. There that that was where my humanitarian spirit took hold and my spirit to persevere in any con condition was strengthened hmm. peter i loved reading this story thank you so much for sharing it with me who do you believe that the scheme has done the work it set out to do which is unify the country this message here is from Ken in Surulere. Ken says, I served in Meduguri in 1998. My stay in Meduguri was fun. I was a platoon leader and a CLO. I did my primary assignment in Konduga. NYC was and is fun. The purpose of NYC is a good one, but our politicians and elites have bastardized its purpose. All right. Thank you. Uh, Tolu in Shangotedo says, I actually went to Black Gold Camp in Kaduna like another caller. This was second batch, March 1992. Uh, that was the period they created new states. And we had three states there, if I recall. Camp was great, but I had to leave Kaduna immediately after camp due to Zango Kataf incident of 1992. Saw gory things all over the state. So I redeployed back to Oyo State and completed it there with an extension as I escaped the carnage in Kaduna. Tolu, I'm glad that you're okay. I'm glad that you're here today to share your story. 
Okay. Ah, uh, that's all the time we have. I know. Where does the time go? But maybe I'll bring this conversation back tomorrow on the step down. What do you think? I think we should bring this conversation back on the step down because NYC just turned fifty. Fifty is a huge age to turn. So we'll talk about it a bit a bit more tomorrow on the step down. Step down is Tuesdays from six fifteen, uh, Wednesdays at six forty five, and Thursdays at um six fifteen as well. So for the rest of this week, step down. Let's all you know think about and talk about our experiences with the NYC as we celebrate NYC at 50. Also think about whether um, in your own personal opinion now, the, the aim for which NYC was created um, has been achieved, is being achieved, or, you know, if it's, you know, if we're not better off today than we were in 1973. I'm Sandra Ezekwesili, S. on social media. Stay here because the news is up next. After the news at 6 o'clock, we're going to bring you the newsroom by the newsroom. Those are your hard facts, Lagos. Good night. Join the conversation no matter where you are. Download our mobile app by searching Nigeria Info FM on the Google Play Store and the Apple App Store. Also, get news updates and sports, entertainment, news, and current affairs right on the app. 99.3 Nigeria Info. Let's talk. After this, AMVCA is here, and you already know what's about to go down. The glamour, the fashion, the awards, and of course, Pepsi Confang Bedou returns. Get ready to give it up, throw it down, pop along with the queen and Pepsi music ambassador, Tiwa Savage, and she's got a warning for you. You're gonna need a more stamina. Guess what? She ain't coming alone, because she's got friends, and they're the baddest artists you know. And I want to assume that you would run because I want to give the listeners context for the conversation. In 2019, you were running late to um, Atiku Abubakar. What did you learn then that you will not repeat this time? Yes, when is the president coming out to address us? There's a few things. One, I have a burden and a passion for young people. The fact that you have elected a man does not mean then you begin to order him around. The president will do whatever is good for the country at any given time. M- Mr. Adeshino, is the president responsible to the people what should the next president do to root out stakeholders who are complicit you fire them those that need to be fired are fired it's looking like the brand new chelsea attacking with so much fluidity and what can you say about that martin i know you follow chelsea quite closely i live close to the chelsea training ground that's what you mean by that i'm not <laughs> a chelsea.